What's up guys, it's Eric from Rare Candy and welcome back to another opening video and today we're going to be cracking open the uh, newest tins that I've released for the spring featuring uh, Dustmane Necrozma GX and Dawnwing's Necrozma GX. So if you guys actually did not see the collector's chest opening uh, video that I did, uh, I did mention in there I've actually had these things sitting at my house for I feel like a couple weeks now and I've just been really slack about actually making the time to uh, come record these to open up on the channel for you guys. I've been traveling a lot for League Cups and just kind of busy during the normal week. So unfortunately they kind of got uh, lost in the shuffle but finally made some time and we're going to crack these things open and see what we can get. So as usual with these tins that come out every quarter they feature the promo card, usually a reprint of a GX from a recent set in the case. It's going to, these are gonna be reprints from Ultra Prism, but just with some new artwork, of course. But then also we have, let's see what it says. You get one of two Pokemon GX, like I just mentioned, four booster uh, packs and a code card to unlock a playable deck on PTCGO. So pretty standard stuff here. Like I said though, the main difference is just gonna be the promo card that we're gonna get. So. Uh, let's crack open Dawnwing's Necrozma first. We'll save Duskmane for the end, I think. So, pretty excited to pick these things up. Both of the cards are actually pretty playable, even though Dawnwing's Necrozma doesn't get a whole lot of love. I think it's actually one of the more uh, underrated cards that came out of Ultra Prism. I think especially once Forbidden Light comes out with Malamar and all that type of stuff, and uh, even Naga Natal GX, I think there will be more use for this card, so... Uh, like I said, definitely I think an underrated card that came out of Ultra Prism. Alrighty, so let me pop this promo card out and we'll try to show it off for you guys. Let's see if I can safely remove it. It's always so stressful removing these things from the packaging. Okay, so I was able to remove it safely. So very, very nice. I actually do like the artwork on both of these cards. I think I actually might even like this better than the actual set artwork. Definitely sound off below in the comments. What do, what do you guys think? Do you think these are better looking than their Ultra Prism counterparts? Definitely let me know below what you're thinking. But uh, same, same card from Ultra Prism, like I mentioned, that nice invasion ability lets you become your active Pokemon if Dawnwings is on your bench. Uh, is weak to dark, which is the main reason it hasn't been seeing much play, but I do think this ability is pretty decent. So we'll put this aside though, and uh, let's move on to the rest of this tin and see what we can get. Of course, a code card for the online game. And curious what the booster packs are gonna be. Okay, so it looks like a mix of old and new. We have some old XY era packs. Uh, luckily, these are still legal for standard format, which is kind of nice. And then the two most recent sets as well, Crimson Invasion and Ultra Prism. So I think what we'll do is we'll start from Probably oldest, work our way up to the newest set. So we'll start with Fates Collide here. Honestly, not the best set. Um, I don't think there's really too much we could really be excited about pulling. Maybe Regirock EX or Zygarde EX. Uh, those are some of the, I guess, Pokemon from the set that are still seeing play today. Or Carbink Break, that could be a decent one to pull. So let's see. We have ourselves a Diglett, Mancino, Coughing, Vullaby. Solosis, Power Memory, Halucha, Wormadom, Reverse Hollow Kangaskhan, and a Rare Snorlax. So, nothing too special there, but I'm honestly fine with that. If we're going to be pulling Ultra Rares, I prefer to do it from some of the, the newer sets anyways. So next up, going on to Steam Siege, there's still actually some decent cards that are kind of relevant that we could pull. Of course, the big one that we're going to be really trying for is Full Art Professor Sycamore. I think that was one of the biggest chase cards. Uh, from this set. Uh, similarly, there's also Volcanian EX from this set as well. Uh, Xerneas Breaks. So there's a couple of other good little, uh, you know, hidden gems in here that we could get. So we have ourselves a Dino, Litwick, Nosepass, Chimchar, Nidoran Male, Pokemon Ranger, Anorith, Ninja Boy, Reverse Hollow Mankey, and a rare Pyroar. So. Yet again, nothing too special there, but I am okay with that. Crimson Invasion and Ultra Prism are the sets I am most looking forward to uh, as far as pulling good cards from. So, If you guys did not know, I actually do play and collect, and there's still a decent amount of cards I'm missing from both of these sets as far as Ultra Rares go to complete my Master set. So, I'll have to see what we can get. Mainly some like Secret Rares and Rainbow Rares are the main things I'm going to be missing. So. Let's see what we can get. Maybe a Buzzle GX would be nice out of Crimson Invasion. 
So we have ourselves a Bunnelby, Magikarp, Chimeco, Pikachu, Mistrevis, Metal Energy, Counter Energy, Pilliswine, Diggersby, Reverse Hollow Cubone, and a rare Houndoom. So we're striking out in this 10 so far. Not even a normal Hollow Rare so far. So we have one more chance to kind of redeem ourselves. We have this Alethion pack here from Ultra Prism. And hopefully all this has meant is that we're saving the best things for last. All right, so let's see. I think the big chase card, as far as money goes, is gonna be Cynthia out of this set. So I'm gonna get full art Cynthia, always down to pull those. But there's still a bunch of other cool things we could potentially get here. So we have ourselves a Gibble, Skaroopy, Lickitung, Chimchar, Pissimian, Metal Energy, Honchcrow, Lopinny, Turtonator, Reverse Hollow Glamiao. Uh, fun fact, I actually did need this for my Master Set. This is, I believe, the last Reverse Hollow I, I was looking for. So i uh, kind of <laughs> kind of happy to pull this one, believe it or not. And a rare Araquanid. So believe it or not, Reverse Hollow Glamiao is going to be the pull of the 10 for me so far. I never thought I would say that, but... Uh, at least it is a card that I needed, even if it's not the most exciting that we could possibly pull. So, we got one tin down. Let's move on to Duskmane Necrozma. Hopefully, he can pull, uh, you know, bring us some better luck with the pulls out of this tin. So let's crack this one open. Man, this thing is stubborn. There we go. So let me see if I can successfully remove this one from the packaging as well. Almost there. There we go. I'll show this one off. Yet again, I have to say I'm actually pretty impressed with the artwork. I actually would venture to say the artwork on both of these is better than their set counterpart. Normally, that does not happen a lot of the time. But as with Dawn Mr. Crosnet, same solid card we have here, Meteor Tempest still. Uh, 220 discard three energy still has sun's eclipse gx definitely a good gx move as well and uh, one thing i actually really do like about these alternate necrozma forms is like only the necrozma part isn't affected by the hollow pattern so like the solgaleo or whatever that's in there it has like the hollow pattern over it but just the necrozma itself uh doesn't so that's actually it's a small thing but you know i kind of get a kick out of that so Definitely cool with these promos. As I mentioned, definitely some pretty solid cards. Of course, a code card for the online game. And actually, guys, too, if you do play the online game, definitely be sure to follow us over at Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. We give out free codes on those platforms on Fridays every week. And specifically on Patreon, we always give out codes from the most recent set. So if you guys want to get some free codes, definitely head over there and uh, see what you can get. But anyways, so... Same packs in this tin yet again. We're going to do the same thing. Work our way back from all the way from Fates Collide up until Ultra Prism. And yet again, these first couple XY packs, you know, I wouldn't mind getting something good. But at the same time, I kind of would like to save our good pulls for the end. So let's see here. Uh, we could still get like a Reverse Hollow N or even like a regular N. That is actually probably one of the better pulls we could get here. Uh, we have a Spoink, Coughing, Vullaby, Riolu, Cottony, Sinchino, Strong Energy. Actually, a pretty solid card to get. I forgot about that one. We have a Shauna, kind of obsolete now that we have Cynthia. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Ultra Ball. So actually a pretty, pretty good reverse we could get. And a rare Reuniclus. So not too special there as far as our rare goes, but definitely some decent trainers right there. So next up we have Steam Siege. Alrighty, so here we have ourselves a Fungus, a Pontiard, Joltic, Clink, Tangela, Steelix Spirit Link, Clang, Special Charge, it's kind of a decent card. Reverse Hollow Hoppip and a rare Spirit Tomb. So yet again, nothing too groundbreaking there. 
but that is okay. As mentioned a couple times now, I want to kind of save our good pulls for the end for our Sun and Moon era packs. So let's crack open our Crimson Invasion pack and see what we can get. Like I mentioned before, Buzzwell would be you know more than welcome to get. But like I said, also I'm still missing some like Rainbow Rares and Secret Rares from this set. So would definitely prefer to get some of those if possible. So here we have ourselves a Chime Echo, a Mistrevis, Stuffle, Phoebus, Jengmo O, Dark Energy, Sinchino, Zuelus, Pilliswine, Excelgor Reverse, and a rare Starmie. Alrighty, so striking out really hard with both these 10 guys. We haven't even got a single Hollow Rare out of either of these, which is pretty bad. We have one pack left out of two tens. Not even a single holo rare pool would be pretty sad. Not a prism star pool, no GXs or EXs. So hopefully our buddy Giratina here can bring us some good luck and we can close this opening out on at least a half decent note. All right, to kick things off here, we have ourselves a Pissimian, Salandit, Piplup, Alolan Diglett, Riolu, Lightning Energy, Manaphy, Missing Clover, Oranguru, actually a half-decent card, Reverse Hollow Krogunk, and the last card of the opening, guys, what is it going to be? A rare Tapu Lele. So, yeah, we did pretty terrible, guys. This is some of the worst tens I've opened in a while. It hurts me to say, but our best pull was Reverse Hollow Glamiao. That's that's when you know that, that you had a bad box or bad tin uh, when Glamiao is kind of the highlight. Now, of course, uh, we do have to give some credit to the promo GXs that we got in the tins. They are definitely pretty playable cards, I think. So, uh, you know, at least we got those, if nothing else. That's going to be about it for this one, guys. As usual, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you can support this channel by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg or by picking up something from our online store at rarecandytcg.com, like the Decidueye playmat you saw in this video, it would mean a lot. But with that, I appreciate you watching and we'll see you for the next one.